What is up guys, Express Design. I'm here with a, with a five minute tutorial. A quick one, a fast one for you guys that you don't have to do a lot of work, but it still looks hella nice. Uh, I'll explain everything. Uh, so yeah, let, let's begin. I'm going to delete the bottom ones. I'm gonna start with a new fresh layer. You wanna have a black background, complete black. That's the hashtag 00000. 000 000 000 000. <laughs> And fill that in. Uh, you can just take your bucket tool and click on the new layer, and it's filled in. Okay, then you wanna you wanna get a um, nice picture of of an anime that you like or whatever. I am thinking of a Cowboy Bebop one, and I just put that in, make it a bit smaller. How I did that is Control T. If I hit Control T, you can edit that, and you just make it smaller, like that. Just go to corner and go down. That's it. There you go that's easy that's that's easy there you go put that there then um find yourself another one uh but like a basic one there you go find another one just put that back um like that right click rasterize layer so it's you can edit the layer double click on the layer give it, go to color overlay that i'm not on the right layer Double click, go to color overlay and choose a color, uh, a darker color from your character. That can be a brown, can be a dark blue, can be a dark red if you want. But yeah, I'll go with the dark, uh, the brownish. Take the logo or the name of the anime. So I have the Cowboy Bebop logo, rasterize again. So right click, click on the rasterize. Double click again and go to color overlay and do the same color that you have previous time. Make it a bit bigger, so we press Ctrl T and just make it a bit bigger. And I'm going to turn it around a bit. There you go. I'm going to select the character. So how did I select that? I go over the character, I press Ctrl and then you see a like little square and then you click and then you have uh, selected the character. And now I go to select modify and expand and expand by 10 pixels okay you go back to the core by bebop bebop logo put it beneath your character and press delete now we have a little dark thing around thing you can also put just a stroke around it i just thought about that but sure okay and now you merge those two together to select them by holding one click on one and then holding control and then click on the other one so you have both of them and then control e them and then the opacity around 30 something like that then you um, go to your text tool you click and you search the Japanese name of the anime on Google you paste that in go to color and pick a color maybe a red there you go uh, color of the set of the character just use that make it as big as possible I also want it thick I want to have it. there you go Turn that around as well, but the other, other way around of the logo. Something like this. Now put it behind the first character, so it's behind her. Then duplicate it by Ctrl J. Double click the, the player at the top. Remove the opacity. Put a stroke on that. Stroke outside and, and a 2. And then move it a bit to the right and go there you go something like that like that okay i want to merge those two together so ctrl e them again select them and merge them so and then you click again with your text tool and type your name so i'm going to type express i'm going to choose the font uh, uh cool verica i'm going to put it white i'm going to make it smaller there you go, way smaller, put that in the middle, then make a new layer, take your rectangle tool, make a rectangle beneath it, fill that in with white, Take just take your bucket tool and click on the rectangle, there you go, then move it a bit up, make it a bit bigger so it fits the text perfectly, then copy it, the layer again by Ctrl J, and then just move it a bit downwards, like that, do that again, just copy that again, move it a bit downwards, and now make it a bit smaller. Like that. Something like that. I think that has a nice touch on it. Then after that you make a new layer. Take your brush tool. Make it as 2000 big. Take that red. And click on some random spots. 
there you go. Put the opacity on screen, put the, put the layer style on screen and put the opacity a bit down, like that. Now, do the same thing but then with white, click some random dots, put the layer on screen, opacity a bit down, and then you want to do is, so you have your layers, I think seven layers or something, select all of them, so select the top layer and then go down and hold in, hold in shift, so you have selected everything, then Ctrl E it, Ctrl J it again, and go to filter, noise, add noise, and amount, make it eight, something like that. Okay, and then you have a little noise effect. I think that fits with the old school theme here. Then what you want to do is go copy that again. So Ctrl J, go to filter, camera raw, filter. You don't have to do this. I just want to make sure the color pop, pop out more. There you go, make the reds. I'm going to make the reds more orange, kind of. Okay, make it a highlight. I'm going to make a blue highlight. And I'm going to the presets. I'm going to vivid contrast detailed. There you go, click on OK. Make the opacity of that layer a bit less. Maybe 50. Merge those two layers together. OK, and then for the final touch, make a new layer. Take your uh, black, make it a bit smaller, like a 500, and go to the sides. There you go. Put the opacity around there. Also, merge everything together. Ctrl J, double click the layer, go to the RGB channels, click G and B, and then move your bottom top layer a bit to the right, and then you have a little glitch effect on the top. And there you go, there you have your five minute simplistic anime banner. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick kind of style and this and this anime banner. Um, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like to more if you want, and as always, see you guys in the next one. Peace.